So today we're taking a look at the norm command in Vim. It lets you run normal mode commands on multiple lines at once. There are times when the norm command is really useful, but also times where you're better off just not typing those long commands. The key is understanding when norm command shines so you can use it effectively. To start using norm, type colon norm followed by the keys you'd press in normal mode. Things like motion commands like the caret sign, dollar, w, edits like capital A, I, or D, and many other sequences. For example, if I want to run a norm command, what I can actually do is just go to any line that I want to run the norm command on. If I'm on this line, I can just do something like colon and then norm and capital A basically goes to the end of the line. And then I can add something like func, press enter, and it just adds to that line. What we want to do is we want to be able to select things like this and be able to add the command norm. And we can still do that. This right here is basically telling Vim to run the command on the lines from the start of my selection to the end of my selection. And so if we actually select all this and we run something like norm and then capital A, go again, func, enter, it adds for those things. We can also use the percent sign with norm to basically select everything in this file or in this buffer and then change it accordingly. So let's say we want to add the word func to the end of every line in our file and then press enter. And yeah, it just adds all that to every single line of our file. Now let's get a bit more advanced. So let's say I just want to select the word char right here and then surround this whole word with a parentheses. I can just select this whole paragraph with VIP colon and then do something like norm and zero to go to the start of the line and then W to go to the word char in this case and then I to insert. And what do we want to insert? So I'm going to insert a parentheses. So I'm going to do that. To exit out of insert, we got to press the escape key. And to send the escape key, we got to press control V and escape jump to the end of the word char. We can do that with E. And now to go back into insert mode, we can do A and then close the parentheses, enter, and it adds all of that there. I can also do something like this. So norm uh, zero to go to the start of the line, W to go to the parentheses, and then L to move away from the parentheses, I to go into insert mode, and I'm gonna add quotes and control V escape to get out of insert mode, E to go to the end of the word, A to go back into insert and close that off it adds the codes right there. So let's say I want to select like four words all the way here. What I can do is VIP and then norm, then F colon to go to the colon first. And we're going to do space and then L to move away from the colon and W to go to the first word, which is the in this case and go to insert mode. So let's add a squirrely braces this time. And then we got to get out of insert mode with control V escape. And this time we need to jump four words. So how do we do that? So we can do things like four W. So that jumps us four word. And then we got to go to the end of the word with E and then A to go back to insert and then close it up, enter and it works. I can also delete this whole thing right here by doing VIP norm and F colon again to go there, L, W, and then 4, D, W, enter, and it should be deleted. There's so many more complex stuff you can do with the norm command. Just don't take it too far. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video.